that we're going to talk about that we use here at the University of Maryland for Zone and we use for years at Loyola College is the 141. And for in purposes right now, we'll count the top first. That's the 141. So it goes from from out top to behind. We number the players 1 2 3 4 5 6 as the six offensive players that we have out there. For us right now, 1 2 and 3 and 4 are the perimeter players, with five and six being the crease players. And as you notice, we have five and six that's kind of in a stack in the middle of the field. Their responsibility is anytime the ball gets to one, five and six will try to occupy both posts of the goal. And that, that's important to us that we're always dangerous when the ball goes either from two or four to one. One of the big things that we think are as important is we don't throw the ball inside from three to five or six. We just think it's, it's a very difficult catch for those kids. They have their back to the goal if they do catch it. So we try to eliminate that turnover of throwing it inside from outside. We will, however, encourage one to throw it inside to five or six, and we do encourage two and four to throw it to a guy who can handle the ball and get a shot off. So that's a very important part. The players on the outside basically are taught to be in a diamond and they have relationships with each other. As one adjusts his position, the ball side guy moves down and the backside guy follows behind him. It's a diamond to a box responsibility. And if we dodge, if two happens to dodge down the alley and throw it to one, five and six have a whole different responsibility. But in our one for one responsibility, when one has the ball, we want all other players to be in a position with their hands and feet set so that they can be dangerous and if they had to get a shot off they could. That's a very important thing. When the ball moves to two, we want five, six, three, and four and we like one to be accounted for. Whether it be sneaking on the back side or sneaking on the front side. We want somebody on the defense to have to account for him. So the one for one freelance, what we're trying to do on this is either set it up by ball movement and action on the crease or by a dodge by one of our four best perimeter players. And we have, them we have them numbered as one, two, three, and four. Now ideally, you'd like to have a lefty in this spot and a righty in this spot. And that's an ideal situation. This player is gonna probably be one of your best outside shooters. So he, if you could have a player who could go both hands, that would be a very important thing but not many teams have so many guys out top that can be both good right and left handed. Inside, we try to find, we don't believe there's that many great guys that are inside both hands. So if for instance, we have a lefty and a righty, when the ball's thrown to X, we'll have our lefty cut to his left hand and our righty cutting to his right hand. And that's something I think we've picked up in some years where we didn't have a lot of left handers. So we, we always want to make sure we have our inside players go into a hand that they can, if they do get open, that one, they can catch it, and two, they can get a shot on goal. The 1-4-1, one, one, we feel, has tremendous opportunity against a zone because zones are set up from top to bottom. When you hear people talk about a zone, they talk about a 3-3 three, three or a 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, and that's counting from out top to behind. With the 141, the wings get to attack between the layer of the, the base defense and the layer of the guys out top. So by having wings and having dangerous wings, hopefully, for us, this is an attackman here and an attackman here, and it could be an attackman here. We have an opportunity by a team playing zone to dodge a short stick with one of our better of attackmen. 